Hey, everybody. For this week's magic class, we're going to talk paranormal protection, especially when you're on a paranormal investigation. Since our guest this week is Daniel Class, and he owns the Hinsdale house, and we work together on ghost finders, um, a lot of people who do and don't or new or old paranormal investigation don't know that they really need to do some protection, whether you call it psychic protection or ghost protection, whatever it is. Now, there's lots and lots and lots of ways to do it. Um, so I'm just going to teach you some that I know work for me. Work within your belief system. If you have a certain religion or belief system, work within that. You call it work with angels, call in your angels. You work with Jesus, call in the Christ light. Do your prayers, do your affirmations. But a few things, whatever your religion are, you really have to work intent of what you're doing. Set your boundaries when you're going into a spooky place. Like when I'm doing my seances, if it's like a public one, I only good and nice spirits. You don't want to necessarily go only good and nice spirits if you're walking into the haunted prison and you want to see who's there. But you can control how much they can affect you, how much they can or can't come into you, what you can do. So you set your boundaries. I'm going in to talk to whoever. The place that you want to protect is the back of your neck. Right where your head and neck come together, you go up and down with your head. Feel it. It goes in and out. I don't. I never remember the medical name for it. I've flunked that anatomy class. But that is actually the biggest portal on your body. Think about it. When you pray, you bow your head to talk to God, to spirit, whatever that is. So you want to close that off when you're going on a paranormal investigation. Now you want to open this. This is your third eye. This is so you can, whether you think you're a medium or a psychic or an intuitive or not, we are, but open this up. You want to be able to see and sense and know where the spirits are, whether you're using equipment or your own self. But you really want to close this down. You ever wonder why those who do go on investigations go, wow, I felt it at the back of my neck. I felt it back here. This is that whole crown of illumination. So I use a lot of protective oils like dragonwood and dragon blood and lots of different protective things. But you could use olive oil. It'll work. You could use nothing if you don't want it. If you don't have it, there is beautiful protection oils on the market. But literally rub with your fingers and I am closing this down that nothing is going to get in. Now, if you're a medium and you do channeling, you do trans channeling, I would versus completely shutting it down, you would just kind of control who gets to get in, just like in your front door. You don't let anybody in your front door. You be picky of who gets to come into your physical body. So always do that before you go in. Set your boundaries. Ground yourself a little bit. Just like with my seances, don't go in hungry. You want to be in fed and also have some high blood sugar. So eat some grapes or some cookies or something before you go in. Because I think that blood sugar raises helps everybody be a little bit more intuitive and aware and alert and be able to experience what's going on. So go in and do your investigation. And the one big, big rule is be respectful. The only time I've ever gotten in trouble or see people get in trouble is when you're disrespectful. TV has gotten way better over the years. It's like the old days of screaming at the ghosts and provoking them didn't work. And who wants to talk to somebody who's yelling at them? Going in respectful. Hello, any spirits here? This is who we are. Introducing yourself. You will get better results and you won't get beat up because you can get beat up by ghosts. And I have. So again, go in with respect listen, be very clear of what your physical, emotional, personal boundaries are, and have a good investigation. Talk to them. If something really negative that you don't like, you have the power. This is our realm of existence. Say, in the name of whatever you believe in, in the name of God, in the name of your dog, and in the name of your Louboutin shoes, you are not welcome. You are not welcome. Stay back, whatever that is. If it feels neutral or good, Talk to it. And whenever you could talk out loud, talk out loud. Because remember, voice is magic. Sound is magic. Your air and your voice when you talk out loud is your life force. So it's they'll hear you if you just talk in your head. They'll hear you better and respond better if you talk out loud. And the next thing is after the invest, be respectful, be open, listen with your outside ears and your inside ears. Look with your outside eyes and your third eye. Same with smells and tastes and everything. And then when it's time to leave, thank the spirits, good, bad, or indifferent, what they gave you, 
and tell them they have to stay there. Thank you very much for experiencing. I do something physical like wipe my hands, stomp your feet on the ground, especially if it's real dirt or grass when you get outside. I am leaving this here. I thank you. Nothing gets to get in my car or my bus or my plane with me. I thank you and close it off. I'm a big Palo Santo user. Um, I'm not a big sage user because I think it's kind of strong, but a little mist of Palo Santo or some incense or some oil is great. But if you don't have it, intent is everything. So you guys can be safe. The spirit world is wonderful. This is our realm. But you be wonderful and they'll be wonderful too. But set your boundaries. That's your magic for today. Go talk to some ghosts. Music